the water jug problem, we have two jug that does not have a scale. So we don't know how much water is in them. But we know that the first one can hold up to four gallon of water and the second one can hold up to three gallon of water. And we have unlimited supply of water so we can fill both of them in anytime. So here we defined the problem. And we, our goal state that we want to reach is two gallon of water in the first one here. And we don't care about the second one. So by doing that, we will go to the second step, which is analyzing the problem. So we will set rules. We will give a variable for each jug. So we will set variable X for this and Y for the second one. So here we will say if X has less than four. So if the first one has less than four gallon, we will just fill it four and we don't care about the Y, we'll keep it the same. We will do the same thing with the Y, but it, if it's less than three, because it can hold up to three. So we don't care about the X, we will have it stay the same and we will change the three. Here, these rules are mostly never used. It says that if X has more than zero, so if it's not empty, we will subtract the X with a number, which is called here D. So we don't know this number, and because we don't have a scale and all of that, so it's mostly never used. We will just do the same thing with the Y. Rule number five says if X is bigger than zero, so if X is not empty, then I will empty it. I will set it as zero, and we will keep the Y the same thing. We will do the same thing with the Y. We will keep the X and we will set the Y to zero. Rule number seven says, if X plus Y is bigger than or equal to four, then we, and uh, Y is bigger than zero, then we will keep the X as four, but Y will be minus four minus X. We will do the same thing for the Y, but with a three, because the second one can hold up to three gallon of water. So for rule number nine and 10, we will just have X plus Y if it is less than or equal to four and Y is bigger than zero, we will have X plus Y and zero for the second one. And the same thing for 